The throaty hum of an ice auger is music to the ears of many anglers, most of whom have been eagerly awaiting cold temperatures and with it some good ice to venture out on their favorite lake. Our recent winter storm did provide some ice, but it is not the right recipe for creating good ice. With the combination of wind and, and he heavy snow, it start, and it, you're right at the freezing temperature, it's, it becomes slush, and, and then it becomes ice, but, and then you get snow on top of it. It's just as bad ingredients for good ice. Power reminds anglers that are getting a little impatient that it is early December, and we could get ice-making temperatures at any time. The best ice, of course, is the ice that you have, the nice clear ice, a couple, three, four inches you can make in one night if it's cold. There is a formula that ice anglers use to access the ice, four inches for walking, six inches for a snowmobile or ATV, eight to 12 inches for a car, and 12 to 15 for a pickup. However, that may have to be adjusted to compensate for the quality of the ice this year. Power also says that this smoky colored ice on top will create conditions conducive to that dreaded word, winter kill. Once you get that slush, that's the, the surface of the ice, and then you put snow on top of that, and the more, more and more snow on top of that as winter goes on, the likelihood of winter kill, especially in these marginal lakes out there, will definitely increase. Another issue with the deep snow deals not with ice conditions, but with access. If you recall six or seven years ago, we had virtually no ice fishing in the state for two consecutive years due to deep snow at the access points and even clogged roadways leading to the lakes. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.